what's your name? Bakshina. Bakshina. You know, you've been doing my eyebrows for like three years now. Yeah. And then. Oh my god, one eyebrow looks thinner than the other. I'm panicking, I'm panicking, I'm panicking, I'm panicking. Hello and welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new. In today's video, we are going to be talking all about eyebrows and eyebrow threading. So if you're wondering how I achieve these beautiful eyebrows or you want to know a little bit more about threading then stay tuned because this is the video for you yes now before we get into the video i need you to stop what you're doing I need for you to subscribe to my channel and don't don't just subscribe turn the notification bell on turn it on because I'm sharing with you guys my plug my lady I've been hiding her for years because I don't want people to know about her because when I want to make an appointment I want to just come in but you know you got to help smaller businesses build and get bigger so I'm gonna tell y'all about her but before I do I'm not I'm not telling y'all nothing until you subscribe and turn the notification bell on and leave a like. Can you do it yet? Okay, good. Let's get into the video. So right now I'm getting ready to go to my eyebrow appointment. I'm just going to brush out my brows. I'm just getting a cleanup because I want, I'm trying to grow this longer. Before you go to an eyebrow appointment, usually what I do is I wash my face after just because when I do my skin regimen, it makes it hard for her to grip the hairs with the string. And then also, um, I don't like lay my edges or do anything extravagant with my hair just because she's gonna be standing over me like, and she's gonna be touching my hair. So I'm actually going to put on a cap over my head so that my hair doesn't like rub against like her fabrics and stuff. So, I'm about to get my eyebrows threaded. This is the cute little spot. What's your name? Bakshina. Bakshina. You know, you've been doing my eyebrows for like three years now. Yeah. And you still I, don't know my name? We, we know each other. Though. Yes. This is the only person that I come to to get my eyebrows done. We, this is not just an overnight process. It's literally been like three years. So we're gonna just clean up your eyebrows, take out the extra ones. Um, you do like them pretty thick and full. So yes. we're gonna keep them pretty full there. And yeah, let's go ahead and do it. Can you hold that one there? So basically what I'm doing right now is I'm just pulling my skin so that she can see the hair and make sure that she's not missing anything. This is one that's threaded and then this is the one that's threaded and then this is the one that's not threaded. It hurts just a little bit. Your we'll... eyes does water because obviously we're pulling your eyes. It's and worth everything. it though. Like Look at that. Sense. It's worth it. There's no fill. You guys watch. Okay. Do I have any boogers in my nose? No. Let's go ahead and put your tongue So again, I'm stretching out my skin. I know it looks weird, but this time I'm just using my tongue and then I'm gonna be putting my lip in as well just to make sure that she gets all the hairs and that she doesn't miss anything. <laughs> there you go. We're gonna take all these here. Nice and clean. 
-hmm. no more hair there. And now she's just gonna go with some aloe over the places that she just threaded. So it can soothe her skin a little bit and kind of well, cleans it down, isn't do it? This. You won't make it through. Really? <laughs> mm hmm. <laughs> And oh, good. can you tell everybody your website, Instagram, Facebook? Um, we are in St. Paul, that is Monktown Marketplace. We are on Facebook. You can actually make an appointment um, since we're doing appointments one day right now with the COVID and everything. You can make appointments online um, on our Facebook page. Um, you can call in, um, you can just Google the brow bar in um, Monktown Place. You would be able to find it pretty easily on Google. Mm -hmm. And yeah, you can see the reviews and everything, how people are talking about us. And I'm picky and I'm giving a good review and I would never lie to you guys. Yeah. And if you're not in Minnesota, just Google eyebrow thread near me and see what pops up. We have like a loyalty card. So after how many is that? Is That's that, like nine times. After you come nine times, you get a free. And I just so happen this is not, yeah. I'm not getting paid for this. Uh -uh. This is really just... My happened honest to review, be a, yeah, yes. and it just so happened to me by free. Yeah. So that's pretty much the process of how I get my eyebrows threaded. So, some things that you should know. At one point in time, I was going and I was getting my eyebrows waxed, but the reason why I stopped waxing is because my eyebrows would be, like, so broken out i didn't go to like wax in the city i get my eyebrows waxed at the nail salon and i noticed them double dipping i noticed them not washing their hands and like so many other things so if you're somebody with sensitive skin this is definitely a great alternative for you and i will say threading is a little bit painful but to me it's worth it you know a lot of things that include beauty are painful so you just kind of have to deal with it Follow-up appointments are typically within two weeks of getting your eyebrows threaded. It really just depends on how how often your hair grows in. Like if your hair grows super fast, and obviously you want to come in more often, but if your hair doesn't grow that fast, and obviously you don't want to come in every two weeks, maybe like every month. At one point in time, I was coming in every month to get my eyebrows threaded just because I wanted to grow them out. And I felt like if I just kept going in every two weeks faithfully, like she would have to start taking from in here just because she'd be running out of hairs to take from here some other things if somebody messes up on your eyebrows i always 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 take time for myself like if my eyebrows get messed up if i'm not satisfied because i have had times where my brow lady did mess up on my eyebrow this life again like when you come in sometimes if she doesn't see me for a long time she has so many other clients that she might forget or get me mixed up with somebody else and i did have an instance like that so even if you see somebody regularly still always remind them what it is that you want and then if you don't get what you want if they end up being too thin then i always just take time to let my brows grow back and i feel like men if you're watching it's the same concept for your hairline okay if your hairline if your brow line gets messed up and it starts to get pushed back or it gets too thin don't keep going back in because all they're gonna do is just keep taking more and more off the next thing you know you're not gonna have a hairline or you're not gonna have any eyebrows I first started getting my eyebrows done i was so annoying i'm surprised that she even still deals with me to this day because i would literally like sit with the mirror and mind you you have to hold your hand so i had to keep stopping her and i would like if i felt like she was taking too much in here or too much up here i would stop her and be like uh, uh, uh what are you doing so make sure that you are very verbal with what you want and if you feel like somebody doesn't know what they're doing then get the fuck out of the seat do not I hate people who just sit in a seat, let somebody fuck them up, and then complain afterwards. Nah, go with your gut instinct, listen to yourself, stop if you have to, take looks if you have to, and walk away if you have to, because this is your look. Well, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Let me know if you're going to try eyebrow threading. Let me know if you have tried eyebrow threading and if you like it. And make sure that you like, comment, subscribe, turn the notification bell on, and stay tuned for another video. I'm Jimmy Moe and I'm doing me